you know motorbikes are made for this sort of weather aren't they and you can see why the only thing is you get a lot of melts on the road as well at the same time don't you When you look at this weather, you can see why we love motorcycling. We love it all seasons, but just when it's like this, when you can just jump on the bike, just got minimum gear on, or I've got the safety gear, but it's minimum. You know, you're not wrapped up, you've not got heated clothes on, you've not got your big gloves on, your waterproofs. And we're not touring, we've not got panniers on or anything like that. It's just me and the bike. So I hope you're okay, guys. My name's Jay, welcome to the channel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Hope you can hear me okay. I put my other helmet on so it's got the other microphone in, but I'm not using the boosted microphone or the wireless microphone today. I'm just using a plug-in Lavia mic, so I'm hoping it's okay. Might not be to the usual standard, but let's see how we go. So I'll try not to shout so it peaks because it's right at the front of my mouth. You might hear some heavy breathing going on, but can't really do anything about that because I've got to breathe. So we've just come back, well I say just come back, we've come back from Scotland uh, now, come back on Monday this week, it is now Thursday. And I tell you what, I can't get back into it yet, into work, so I'm sort of hanging on there till the weekend and then we're going to uh, probably go out on Saturday because weather's going to be really nice and then on Sunday it's my wedding anniversary so I have got to take Mrs Crazy Legs out somewhere don't know where yet or because if I don't she'll be uh, crazy legs in my ass let's say so anyway Scotland if you have never tried Scotland on a bike you've got to it's absolutely amazing Every time I go up there, I've been up a few times now on the bike with various people and it's just amazing every time, it really is. And I think it does actually make a difference as well with the sort of people that you go with. Because everybody doesn't get on in a group. You're always going to get somebody, but when you start sharing the passion of travel and biking together, seem to get past that but yeah what an absolutely fantastic I'm not saying we no none of us got on because we really got on all of us got on it were brilliant absolutely brilliant and I'm just going to thank Haggis Whisperer Graham again for putting the plan together I know it's no easy easy task not that I've ever done it for a group but I've done it for myself I put a bit of a subs ride together well I didn't actually <laughs> but uh, I contributed to it um, and yeah, it's, it's just amazing. It's just, it's just fantastic to be able to sit behind somebody and let them worry about the routes and whatnot. And if, do you know what? If you go wrong, it doesn't matter. Because unless you're gonna stop and turn around and you make everyone aware that you've gone wrong, nobody's gonna know anyway, are they? Just keep going, take a different route. You probably noticed I've got my engine light come on on the bike. That was because it's thrown an error up because I had loads of rain and uh, the sensor for the traction control for some reason came on and threw that error up but I've got it got to get it booked in I've seen on the forums that it'll probably just correct itself there is no errors on the bike because when you go into the warnings there's no errors uh, so just see how we go anyway so I'm just going to do my usual little route the sun is out it is absolutely boiling temperature is 19 degrees uh, my clock's showing 20 to 6 but it's actually 20 to 7 and it's going to be like this pretty bright until probably half past nine and i'll tell you what there's nothing like like i was saying earlier going to somewhere like scotland but equally so i know all the scottish lads that are up there it's their back garden basically the roads that we're ridden and they do it quite frequently um, and I know this is not on the same scale, but this is my back garden and this is This makes me happy. It's not it, It's beautiful up here. West Yorkshire is beautiful 
and it was nice to actually do roads as well that I'd not done before um, always been up to like Glencoe you know all your touristy areas but it was nice to do we did the Laws Dam um, went up there went up Dukes Pass that was a great road that could have done that over and over again um, went on the Isle of Buttes and did the Serpentine Road which is like uh, it's like the sort of road but mini scaled that you'd find in the Alps you know with all the switchbacks I think it had something like 14 hairpins on it and it was it was only 0.6 miles long it was very steep camera didn't show it very much <laughs> Do you know, I absolutely love it up here. And it's so quiet and peaceful as well. I think everybody's got home from work now. All the maniacs are off the road. You know, I think it's always it's good to have a little route into it you know like uh, one that you, you sort of jump on all the time and yeah I do it different sort of different ways and there's so many little routes around here but just to jump on in it I can be out for an hour and it's, sometimes that's all it that's all you need into an hour on the bike nothing more nothing less Just imagine that pad up there, look. Fantastic views down over the valley there. It's awesome. Thing is though, even though we get a lot of snow and stuff as well up here, it is, it's just awesome. It's just beautiful every season, really. A few horses as well. It's the only thing, you've just gotta be a little bit cautious of the horses, aren't you? Just coming down here because I wanna see if the track that I've been on a few times is, uh, is clear hopefully it's not too muddy we've had quite a bit of rain but we've had some hot weather the last couple of days couple of three days so it might be all right so I'm just gonna have a look down there and then I might just drop it in um, off-road mode <laughs> and you can see how it's not done because I'm an amateur especially when it comes to off-roading anyway and I say with these sort of roads you've just got to be really careful because there's, there's um, fresh horse manure there so there's probably horses on here a lot see there the 
of a bloody hell. Look at this. Water here. Got it. I remember when I first came down here and I absolutely crapped myself but do you know now I think the more you do the more you get used to it because I saw that water there just picked a line and just went for it but when I've done this before I've been on road tyres so these rocks and that here you've just got to be careful they don't tear great big holes out of them but with these tyres we're all good No problem, none whatsoever, easy. So yeah guys, hope you've enjoyed this little one. It's been nothing much, just a man on a KTM or a man rides a KTM, whatever the thumbnail says. And uh, I shall hopefully see you on the next one. I think I'm going to get out on the weekend and do some riding as well. Like I say, it's Thursday. I've got another day at work yet. Um, not really got much to do tomorrow, to be fair, for the weekend. And then uh, Sunday, take the wife out somewhere for our 16th, I believe. Is it 16th? Can't remember. 16th wedding anniversary. Wow. Who would have thought it? So if you like this, please click that subscribe button and I shall see you on the next one. Because every day is an adventure. <laughs> Crazy out.